نحمده و نسلی علی رسوله الكریم اعوذ بالله من الشیطان الرجیم بسم الله الرحمن الرحیم رب شرح لی صدری و یسر لی امری و حلل عقدتم من لسانی یفقه قولی و جعل لی وزیر من اہلی اللہم فکہنا فی الدین آمین سم آمین السلام علیکم و رحمت اللہ وبرکاتہ Proceeding with our Arabic sessions, Arabic grammar sessions, we will be today talking about the demonstrative pronouns and the relative pronouns. Demonstrative pronouns are the pointing words. And the pointing words as we talk in English for the near and for the far things, we use words like this and that. For the singular and these and those for the plural. Like for the near things we say this for the singular and for the plural we say these. And for the things which are far away we say that and for the plural we say those. So in Arabic we just don't have the pointing words for the near and the far things as singular or uh, plural. We additionally have slight differences for the feminine and the masculine also. So for the pointing words for the near things, as far as the masculine is concerned, we use the word hava. Hava means what? This masculine. And for the plural, this, we say what? These, we say what? For these of masculine, we say ha ula e. And then for something which is close, but it is a feminine, we say what? Ha zi he. And for the plural feminine, we again say ha ula e. So basically what we need to remember are for the near pointing words, ha za, Hazihi ha ulai. Haza is for this masculine. Hazihi is for this feminine. And ha ulai is for both the masculine and the feminine plurals. Like if I have a book and the book because al kitab, al kitab is what? It doesn't have any uh, pointers that it is a feminine. So al kitab is is taken as a masculine. What will I say? Hazal kitab. This a book. Or when there are more than one, we will say ha ulai. When there is a feminine thing, we will say ha vihi. Similarly, when we are pointing to a noun which is far away, but it is masculine, we say dhalikal kitabu. That book. As we say, as we read in the first or the second verse of Surah Al-Baqarah, ذَلِكَ الْكِتَابُ لَا رَيْبَ فِي So that is pointing towards the book. ذَلِكَ is a pointer for that masculine thing which is far away. And when it is singular, it is ذَلِكَ. And when it is plural, what do we say? أُولَيْكَ As so frequently mentioned in Quran, أُولَيْكَ هُمُ الْمُفْلِهُونَ and for the feminine, which is far away, the pointing word for singular is tilka, tilkul jannah. And then for the feminine plural, again it is ulaika. So here again, for the far pointing words, we need to remember three words. Zalika, that masculine. Tilka, that feminine. And ulaika, for plural of feminine and masculine, both. Then the next thing we're going to cover today is the relative pronoun, who, whose, whom. Again, different for masculine and for feminine. Alladhi, this is a word we find so many times in Quran. Alladhi khalaka sab'a samawatin tibaka. Allah is, Allah is the deity who is that who. Alladhi is for a singular masculine. Alladhina is for masculine plural. All those who Alladhina yu'minuna bil ghaibi. So Alladhina 
yuqimuna salata allah zina is going to come so very frequently in quran and how are we going to translate it those who all those who similarly for the feminine we use allati allati like in surah nisa allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says allati takhafuna nishuzahunna that your wife who you fear that she will be disobedient and she will be obstinately disobedient allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uses the word for the wife who does that allati and for the masculine for the feminine plural we say allahi and allati like in surah talaq allah subhanahu wa ta'ala talking about the divorce conditions of divorce says allati lam yahizna all those women all those girls whose uh, menstrual cycles have not started and regarding the post menopausal women allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions allah yaisna min al mahiz all those women who have finished over with their menstrual cycles so allazi is for masculine singular allazina all those who is for masculine plural allati is for feminine singular allai and allati is for feminine plural and now the list of the short words this is the list and i've given you all the words and the translations with the request urging all of you to simply do what to cram up the words and translations as we used to in while we were working up in school so you just need to learn up all these words and memorize all the translations so whenever you find out the word kaifa you automatically know it means what it means how and when you come across kalla you mean absolutely not tahta means below or under so wish you the best of luck في امان الله السلام عليكم ورحمه الله وبركاته